Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 21st Cannabis Expo Dinner Awards Ceremony. Thank you, George. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me if I, we did not choose the best of the best for an MC this year. George Borgatis, our prominent lawyer, an active member of our community. I remember George when he was 10 years old parading in the streets of Philadelphia, and now he's the chairman of the parade in Philadelphia, uniting all the Greek American community and the Philadelphia Hellenic community. And I commend him for that, for getting involved, giving the example to all the younger generation members of our community in the Philadelphia Hellenic community. Thank you, George. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I know that uh, all of us have to say a couple of words uh, tonight, but we have to make uh, some presentations to the people that they have excelled themselves in their profession and also due to their involvement with the community. We have many prominent members of our community here tonight and I would like to pay a tribute to all of you that came out today, throughout the day talking to the exhibitors, taking part at the seminar in the morning, at the business seminar that was a very successful seminar having the Honorable Aris Melisaratos as a chairman of this event coming out of Baltimore every year for the last seven years and he's eager not only to support Hermes Expo to serve the generations to come but to cultivate a good team of business people from different professions to unite us all. I want to congratulate the younger, member of, uh, younger members of Generation the, the Hermes Young Professionals Initiative they got their first very successful event. I want to congratulate all of them from New York, from New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. And also, the teachers, besides the business people that we are doing to bring the community together, the teachers, they had their first conference at the Hermes Expo International. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that uh, you want to have your food, you want to enjoy your food, that's why you came here. You're going to talk to the... Thank you. You want to talk to the people next to you and do some more business, but be a little bit... Uh, give us some time, so this way we can make a very nice presentation to you because Every year our committee is working very hard to present the best of the best of the Phil Hellenic community and also from the Greek American community as well. Before I continue, last year George Horiatis was an honoree. But an unfortunate event happened at the day of the Hermes Expo he did lose his father. His father passed away and he could not be here with us. His brother happens said, let's do this for George for next year. And we saved his award to make a presentation this year before we start and invite all the teachers and continue with our program. And at this point, I would like to invite the high-ranking members of the AHEPA, Saba Tsimikos, the uh, governor, district governor of uh, District 5, AHEPA District 5, New Jersey, Mr. Lee Milas, Board of Trustees, and Ted Fanikos, to past district governor to present their award to George Horiatis and pay the first tribute tonight. But while they're going to be coming, 
on stage. I just want to give a moment of silence in memory of George's father because he was a dear friend of mine too and also a mentor of mine as well. God bless him, as you said, and I'm the
since Stella and Vasya are doing a tremendous work for our kids, for the future generations, we want to present them Tijarta Turiga. and I would like to accept it with gratitude. Thank you, Paul. I want you to know that the teachers are very grateful for what Paul Controchus is doing for them. He appreciates the work they are doing across the country. Everybody tells me when I travel that this and this expo is being known now that they are honoring every year our work our teachers, our PTO, PTA, presidents, and members of the community who work very hard to educate and maintain the Hellenic education here in America. And that's because of Paul Contorchus, this event is taking place. This honor is taking place. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much for what you're doing. You are axios. You are also an educator because with your own way you educate the Greek American community teaching the values, the Greek values through business. We wish you the best. And I want you to know that the teachers with honor only represent a minority of the total number around the states, around, around the USA because all of the teachers around the USA doing a wonderful job with their heart to maintain not only the Greek language, the history and culture, but the image of our beloved country of Greece. In any time, in any year, in any situation, now, before, and in the future. Thank you again. Thanks to this Expo for able to present So I would like to have all of you here so we present the awards. From Plato and from Washington DC, from the School of Plato, please. Κάποιος από τους Άγιος είναι να έρθει να 
para el hábito de la vida. Uh, I want to ask that uh, Mr. Uh, Rosanides come forward, uh, Mr. Palacos, all the supporters of the Odyssey uh, Charter School, Caracasibis, Olus, Pedia, please come forward. Uh, this, it's not going to last long with me and Paul on the stage together, I can tell you that. But anyway, gentlemen, please come forward, all the supporters of the Odyssey Charter School. Mr. Rosanides, please present us. Thank you, Brother George. Um, on behalf of um, all the staff and the leader of Odyssey, George Rivos, I accept this. I will present it to him tomorrow morning. So thank you. this award on, on behalf of the Odyssey and Charter School. I was a former member of the Board of Directors when the school started. I knew Andoni Spitalis. He was a wonderful man, very committed to education of the children and his Greek heritage. I'd be very proud, at the same time very sad, that he met an early and untimely death. Thank you very much. And also, Mr. Siambul is the president of the Bank Gregorians, who is a friend of Larry Perulas.
te quería acusar de desacertar en su nombre. Pues dos y en la mercado como de obtener todos, que las mandicó a verlos, tu cajero merino, su nombre, pero a menos, si no le obtiene prosparia, la hile de dos colillomas. Entonces, merino, voy a ir más hile y me va a la gloria de sus copos a tu nombre. Κλείνοντας να ευχαριστήσω όλους εσάς για την τιμή που μας κάνετε και σας διαβεβαιώνω ότι αυτή η προσπάθεια θα συνεχιστεί από εμάς και όλους τους καινούριους συνεργάτες που θα προκύπτουν πεμοντικά έτσι ώστε να συνεχιστεί το έργο μας στο ακέραιο. Σας ευχαριστούμε όλους θερμά και καλησπέρα σας. Αν σταματήσουν τα παιδιά μας να είναι άνθρωποι τότε δεν έχουμε αποστολή σε αυτόν τον κόσμο. Αυτά τα συναισθήματα που οι δάσκαλοι μας μεταγγίζουν αυτή τη στιγμή, θα ήθελα να ξέρετε ότι αγγίζουν όλους μας και αυτά θέλουν να μεταλαμβαδέσουν στις νεότερες γενιές. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are experiencing here tonight is something unique. The teachers, they do their utmost to teach our kids all the diachronic Hellenistic principles and I want a big round of applause to all of them. I'm taking this award on behalf of Mrs. Angela Captain, who is the president of the PTA of St. Dimitrios Afternoon School, in which I serve as the principal. Thank you. continuously that wanted really to establish a charter school. It's a new model of schools that we are very proud to really have in our communities and we hope that will be the best model for the future. Before I call Mrs. Maria, I would like to, to thank Mr. Peter Chagarakis from Bangladesh and also for helping us. Maria, well, your outstanding professional services, being a pioneer of the nice, the first charter schools in America, perpetuating the Hellenic language and culture, and creating Philippines for the Hellenic community and for our beloved country of Greece, we give you this plaque as a special award for this special occasion with the Greece president. Mr. Paul Controtius and with the Sidonistria of the Elico Proxenio of Israel's Artists and with me, with gratitude and happiness that I have Maria next to the Federation always to help us also, help us to really perpetuate the culture, the history, the language and creating charter schools, a new model of schools in America. Congratulations, Maria. Keep up the good work. Schools because schools is what makes the soul having 
oxygen. I want to sing a song for you, but you have to fill up the language, the Greek language. I'm going to sing Flamurian, the song for the tree. And bring your mind your favorite tree that gives you relaxation and happiness in the world. Η Βίκη Πάτμα, Κατερίνα Κλέιμεν, Πανδόρα Σπίλου, 
Ήρθε ο κύριο Κόκκινο, ο σπουδαίο αυτό δάσκαλο που διδάσκει για πάρα πολλά χρόνια και ο Δόκτωρ Μελικόκη. Η Ντέβη Αβόπολη, ο Δευτέ Μπέτζιο, ο Αντούλα Καρίδη, Χαρετή Χατζίδη. Του ευχαριστούμε που ήρθατε μαζί μα απόψε και είσαι σε αυτή την ωραία εκδήλωση που βραβεύουμε του Έλληνε εκπαιδευτικού που προσφέρουν ένα μεγάλο έργο στην ομογένεια. Τα παιδιά μα είναι το μέλλον τη ελληνική φυλής και της ελληνικής δόξας. Ευχαριστώ. Thank you. Keep on doing a great job for our kids and for the future of this Greek American community and our nation as well. And our ethnos. Where are you? We have a job to do. I was sitting in the back because both had taken over once again. However, at this point in time, I see to your left a wonderful dance group that is here to be with us again this year. The Macedonians from Philadelphia. Please come forward.
Thank you very much. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to the Macedonian group of Philadelphia, uh, from far away, Apochabarian, and uh, his uh, Armenian uh, counterparts traveled all the way from LA to be with us, and they hope that next year they can uh, bring uh, a pavilion to the Hermes Expo. We welcome the idea. Apo, thank you very much. Where are you? Oh, over here. Thank you. Thank you very much. And believe it or not, we don't have only uh, Stephanie Mlahakis, the president of the National Athletic Museum of Chicago, or John Yanis Yanis from uh, Calamus Investments from Chicago. We also have Bill Matarangas, the treasurer of uh, the Glenn American National Council. Thank you very much. He's sitting at the table of the vice president, Mr. Pistakis. Thank you, please, for the leadership and uh, for all the support to the Hermes Expo over the years. And Dr. Pallas is another pillar of uh, the Hellenic American National Council. He traveled all the way from Michigan, and I want to recognize and spe pay special tribute to him for being part of what we're doing uh, here at uh, the Hermes Expo. We have people from Washington, D.C. that uh, we're going to have a chance to hear from them later on. Baltimore, the Baltimore gang, Korologos, Tom, thank you very much for bringing all your friends at the Hermes Expo every year. And I want to make a point. Every year, two tables from Baltimore. Thank you. Thank you, Tom, and Double T Diners, ladies and gentlemen. When you travel down to South, stop by. There is always a friendly smile. Thank you. And uh, John Sulis and uh, all the other uh, groups from uh, the Baltimore area. We had Aris Melisaratos here this morning. Unfortunately, he had another commitment to me. And then to all the people from New York that are here tonight taking part at uh, the Hermes Expo, and all of the people that they have visited the kickoff event at the Martinique Cafe at the Radisson Hotel on the 32nd Street and Broadway and made it a special success for the Hermes Expo. With no advertisement, literally, only with emails, phone calls, and uh, uh, special letters, we had over uh, 500 people at that kickoff event. That shows that the potential is there. George? Well, Paul, before we call our very, very, very special, very special uh, guest, uh, we do have some, uh, some announcements to make. In the program that you had, throughout the expo, there are numerous proclamations, many which have been read, but this one, uh, I plucked the call. It's from Olympia Snow, who we understand will be the outgoing United States Senator. She thanks you and all the friends here today and congratulates us for the Hermes Expo International on its 21st anniversary. And she can be more privileged to pay tribute to the Hermes Young Professionals, established in 2007 by your daughters, and well, two or three of your daughters, I should say. She's calling to foster synergies between the youth and professional leaders. And she continues all to say, as the first Hellenic American woman elected to both the United States Representatives and the United States Senate, and as the only Hellenic American currently serving in the Senate, she cannot overstate her gratitude for her athletic roots, which have profoundly influenced the trajectory of her life. And she thanks all of us, and Paul, she gives you her best wishes for another outstanding expo. The letter is signed sincerely, United States Senator Olympia Snow. But at this point in time, we can have just a little bit of quiet. Just a little bit. Because let me tell you, we have a treat for you. It is an honor to have with us Mirodimas. 
four-time Olympic champion, six-time world champion. Coming to honor us at the Hermes Expo. And we call Mr. Davis forward so we can honor him for his ad admirable professional performance and his commitment to the spirit of Hellenic ideals. Mr. Dimas, everybody please give a round of applause. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, and all you can love him and get it to the next to the Tiega and the Opiros Dimas, the Gondas, the Nomos, the Tinelana, the Ethnos, the Lopiro, all you can ask for the Tunica and the Panach Maxio.
After receiving his first Olympic gold medal in 1992, Piros became an instant national hero in Greece. He was a symbol of success and pride for Greece and for Greeks throughout the world. Not only because he achieved the highest Olympic prize, not once, but three times in 1992, 1996, and in 2000, but also because he uttered the now infamous words in one of his lifts, Yatin Elada, for Greece. These words are especially meaningful to all of us gathered here tonight because we are all too aware of the daunting challenges facing Greece today. Piros unite, united the Greeks with a sense of hope, bringing together the community in celebration of their national pride. The National Hellenic Museum's mission is to follow the example of Piros Dimas, and that is to provide hope for the future through the success of Greece, its heritage, and its people. And in presenting this award tonight to Piros Dimas, I say, Ya Din Alada. Thank you. Yannis. I don't have any words to say. It's, it's, it's a great honor for the greatest Olympics of our time. Thank you. Thank you, Yannis. And uh, thank you and Stephanie for pledging your support for Peter's mission to the United States of America visiting us this month. Okay? Thank you. Dr. Spiraeus? Ναι, θα ήθελα να πρώτα απ' όλα να σου πω ξανά συγχαρητήρια γιατί όσο και συγχαρητήρια να σου πούμε α, δεν μπορεί να φτάσουν αυτά που έχει κάνει. Είσαι ένας α, αρχηγός ένας αρχηγός που μας λείπει στην Ελλάδα και παντού. Είσαι ένας άνθρωπος που μπόρεσες μόνο με την ψυχή σου και τη δύναμή σου να κάνεις τα πράγματα που έκανες. Να δώσεις, να μας δώσεις σε όλους ανατριχύλα στη σπονδυλική μας τύχη και στο δέρμα μας όταν έλεγες αυτό για την Ελλάδα και να μας κάνεις όλους τόσο περήφανος και θυμάμαι ακόμα και τώρα που μιλάμε είναι ένα πράγμα που δεν το ξεχνάω το Ιταλίου που δεν σημαίνει και θυμάμαι ότι ξενύχταγα για να το δω, ήμουν φοιτητή εδώ στην Αμερική. Όχι φοιτητή, είχα τελειώσει. Γινόμουν καθηγητή και θυμάμαι ότι ξενύχτησα για να δω σε εδώ να σηκώνει αυτό και να δω για την Ελλάδα. Αγαπητοί φίλοι, ένα άνθρωπο που θα το πει ο Δήμα, το Δήμα μα είναι ένα άνθρωπο που μακάρι να είχαμε πάρα πολλού σαν κι αυτόν. Όταν μιλάμε για ανθρώπους οι οποίοι έβαλαν τους εαυτούς τους ψηλότερα από άλλους Έλληνες. Μιλάμε για παραδείγματα σαν τον Αλεξάνδρε, τον Αμέγα Αλέξανδρο. Μιλάμε για παραδείγματα αρχηγών. Και κλαίμε που δεν έχουμε τέτοιους τώρα πια. Και ζητάμε απερτισμένα να βρούμε κάποιους πάλι ξανά γιατί κάποτε η Ελλάδα ξανά προς τη δόξα τραβά. Και θα ήθελα να σας πω ότι όλοι πρέπει να βοηθήσουμε από εδώ, από οι όλοι οι Έλληνες της Ελληνικής Διασποράς, της Ομογένειας εδώ και της όλων των Διασπορών παντού, όλων των Ομογένειων, να βοηθήσουμε για να ξανακάνουμε την Ελλάδα δυνατή, να την κάνουμε την Ελλάδα να αρμόζει, να έχει ολυπιογή και σαν και αυτόν εδώ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ και συγχαρητήρια και πάλι. Συγχαρητήρια.
και τώρα να ακούσουμε δυο λόγια από τον ίδιο τον Βιβλιονίκη, τον Πύρο Δήμα μας. Καλησπέρα σε όλους. Θα ήθελα να σας ευχαριστήσω όλους, έναν ένα, εσάς και οι Πετρόφτα για την υπέροχη προσπάθεια που κάνετε. Ε, προσωπικά, όπως και όλοι, είμαστε στεναχωρημένοι με αυτά που συμβαίνουν στην Ελλάδα. Απλά πιστεύω ότι όπως εσείς εδώ σε κανόνες μεγαλουργείτε, πιστεύω ότι και εμείς στην Ελλάδα πρέπει να βάλουμε κανόνες, γιατί έτσι με κανόνες έμαθα και εγώ, έκανα προπόνηση κάθε μέρα, κοιμόμουν νωρίς, δεν έτρωγα γλυκά, δεν μπορώ να έχω τα κελά μου, Έκανα την προσπάθειά μου την προπόνηση κάθε μέρα. Δεν πιστεύω ότι ο Έλληνα είναι τεμπέλη. Δεν πιστεύω ότι ο Έλληνα είναι όπα όλη μέρα όπω θέλουν κάποιοι να μα παρουσιάζουν. Απλά πρέπει να τηρούμε του κανόνε, να του σεβόμαστε και να προχωράμε και να κάνουμε την Ελλάδα όπω τη αξίζει. Είμαι πολύ περήφανο που είμαι Έλληνα, το λέω και θα το λέω. Χαίρομαι που είμαι εδώ σήμερα μαζί σα. Ε, σίγουρα, όπω και εσεί, δεν ξεχνάτε τι ρίζε, τι παραδόσει. Προσπαθείτε τα παιδιά σα να τα μάθετε όλα αυτά που πρέπει να μάθουν από πού προέρχονται, τη γλώσσα μα. Ε, έτσι και εγώ έφυγα από τη Χιμάρα το 1991. Αυτή τη στιγμή το σχολείο έχει ένα πρόβλημα. Πολύ μεγάλο και θα ήθελα όποιος μπορεί και όσο μπορεί να στηρίξει ώστε και αυτά τα παιδιά να μαθαίνουν τη γλώσσα τους, την ελληνική γλώσσα. Ε, σας ευχαριστώ πολύ. Εσύ μας συγκίνησε Σπυρό με αυτό που έκανες και με αυτό που συνεχίζεις να κάνεις. Και σου υποσχόμαστε την αμέριστη υποστήριξη στην αποστολή σου αυτή. Γιατί σε όποιον μιλήσαμε απόψε, όλοι θέλουν να βοηθήσουν και να ενισχύσουν αυτή την προσπάθεια. Γιατί αν τότε που εσείς, κάτω από αντίξωες συνθήκες, διατηρήσατε τις ελληνοχριστιανικές μας πολιτισμικές αξίες, τότε εμείς σήμερα αν δεν στηρίξουμε μια τέτοια προσπάθεια, δεν νομίζω ότι θα πρέπει να έχουμε και μια συνέχεια. Για τον κύριο Πενελήνη. Σε ευχαριστώ πολύ, Σπαδί. Να είστε όλοι καλά. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Τιμή και χαρά να σε έχουμε απόψε μαζί μα. Είναι να μην σα πω πώ θα το It's never too late, Spiro says. Paul is going through all of his uh, plaques here, and at this point in time, I'd like to call up to be honored Carol Brooks, International Trade Office Department of Commerce of the City of Philadelphia. She's the manager. She has a long-standing commitment to public service and to the Hellenic spirit. She was here all throughout the weekend and has assisted in various capacities, letting her talent and trade to the Urbis Expo. Carol, please come forward for your outstanding work in building the bridge between Philadelphia and in particular between Philadelphia and Thessaloniki. I ask that we give a round of applause for Carol Brooks. Chairman of the U.S. Greece Business Advisory Council, traveled to Greece and uh, built something unique for all of us here in the greater Philadelphia region. And Carol was very instrumental to help us build 
the special agreement that the two cities and the two mayors signed, the city of Philadelphia and the city of Thessaloniki, Greece. They signed a business and a cultural exchange agreement and that is very important to all of us here in the vicinity because so many business people traveled from uh, Thessaloniki coming to Philadelphia to do business, to make an investment. And Mrs. Brooks was there to assist each and every one of them. And I want to thank her very much for being there for the Kermis Expo. Mr. Dutch, Mr. Christakis. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Christakis is the chairman of the U.S. Greece Business Advisory Council. Presented to Carol Brooks, International Trade Office, Department of Commerce, City of Philadelphia, Manager for her long-standing commitment to public service and the Hellenic spirit and for her outstanding work in building bridges between Philadelphia and Thessaloniki. The Hermes Award is presented on this day the celebration of the 21st anniversary of Hermes Expo. May on March 31st, 2012. I want to call uh, Dimitri Rosanidis to come up to the podium to present uh, the proclamation of the Atlantic County before I give the award and the podium to uh, Mrs. Brooks. And George Borgiandis will present the certificate of Congresswoman Maloney. Although with reservation at first, 
not knowing the individuals that I would travel with. Well, it turned out to be one of the best trade missions, not knowing at the time long relationships that would follow. Next, Paul asked me to form a memorandum of understanding with Thessalonica to foster more trade, cultural, and economic ties. After being in Greece, I understood the potential for many opportunities, and it was easy to get the city to do the MOU. Even more determined to get the city to open up the borders and increase trade, he asked us to form a Greece advisory committee, and we did. Greece became a country that we took seriously. More importantly, at least to me, formed a friendship one that I have grown to cherish. Paul, to me, is a true ambassador to Greece, to the Philadelphia area, and to the United States. He really deserves these awards, in my opinion, because he's a real champion for Greece. shortfalls in government spending, politics with every administration having different priorities. Yes, they are challenges. And could be an interference if you let them. But we will not let them. And I know Paul Cabrosius will not let them. So on behalf of the Hermes Expo, allow me to again pay special tribute to my friend Paul Cabrosius for magnifying my little efforts and making this award possible. I must also recognize the efforts of Chris Christopoulos, who several years back also shared for me the synergy between the city of Philadelphia and Greece. My other thanks go to all the Greek community in Philadelphia and the greater Philadelphia area and for making your home and working with organizations like the Hermes Expo, to showcase the Greek community and all that it has to offer. Additionally, I salute all the awardees that will follow and all the awardees that went before me. But last but not least, let me thank my husband, Tim, and daughter, Bianca, for their support and for being here with me tonight. Thank you for all those inspired words, Carl, and thank you very much for all your help and assistance. Okay? We will continue to do the trade missions to Greece every September. Thank you. Uh, I think it would be it would be very appropriate at this point for the benefit of the non-Greek speaking people among us tonight to translate just a few words of what the Olympian Peter Dimas said to us a few minutes ago. Just the key points. He told us that he grew up with a set of rules as he was training to become a member of the Olympic Committee. He could not gain weight. He had to get up early in the morning he had to, per to train under certain guidelines and rules. He truly believes that the Greeks of today also need to follow some of these rules because the image that the Greeks have received through the networks and the media is not the true image they deserve. And we all feel that way as well. And he wished that we can all help 
to regain the appropriate image and status of the Greek nation. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Okay. At this point in time, we're going to call forward Andreas Maromo. Andreas has distinguished himself as a marketeer in imported and domestic fresh fruits. He's been the recipient of the Friend of Chile Award by the Chilean American Chamber of Commerce in Greater Philadelphia for his dedication and commitment to the Chilean fruit industry. He's the CEO of Unifruity of America. He's the one that was providing you those wonderful grapes and kiwis that you had outside. Mr. Economo, again, is here with us and is a major sponsor of this wonderful expo. He's also known as a no-nonsense no person. Last but not least, he's a director, a member, and a vice president of the Chilean American Chamber of Commerce of Greater Philadelphia. And so, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for Andreas Iconoco. Andreas Economo and Billy Frutti has been uh, a, a long, long, long time, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to thank uh, Mr. Economo for being part of the Hermes Expo and for whatever he is doing to support anything Hellenic in our region. I want to invite uh, Mr. Christopher Petsilas to help me present uh, his award, which reads as follows. Presented to Andreas Economo, CEO of Unifruity of America, Inc. for outstanding performance, success in trade, and admirable devotion to the spirit of Hellenism, the Hermes Award is presented on this day, the celebration of the 21st anniversary of the Hermes Expo Dinner Awards, March 31st, 2012, at the Taj Mahal. Paul Podlosius, Chris Christakis, Aris Felisaratos, Theodore Spiropoulos and Dr. Spireas.
Moving right along. The next award goes to Dr. Moreno Sciones. Oh, he brought a chair in section. The good doctor has a remarkable success creative contributions to his profession. There's not only an, an admirable devotion to the Hellenic spirit, he also is getting the Distinguished Hermes Expo Award. Barbara Poole, you know we have to Marino, Capnisi, who is it? You see, yeah, Bruce. Who is it? No, not good. Not good. Everybody, let's give a round of applause to Dr. Maria Stiones. At this point, I would like to invite uh, the president of uh, the Pankefalinum Society, Jan Kiones, who traveled all the way from Canada to be here for this uh, presentation. Come up to the podium, the Secretary General of uh, Kefalinum Federation of the SEPS, to come up to the podium, and also the Treasurer of the Hellenic American National Council, uh, Mr. Madarangas, and uh, uh, Dr. Palas, to make this, to help us make this uh, presentation. Not only to a fine doctor, a nice doctor that is, but also to a person who has devoted much of his uh, uh, life to do the good deeds for his fellow neighbors in Kefalonia, Greece. Dr. Georgopoulos, Costa. Where is Mr. Kionis? Where is the president? He's missing in action. Jan Kionis? Must have stepped out. Country, 
we have even more so the obligation to be more generous to our brothers and sisters in Greece. Therefore, now, and more than ever, regardless of our professions, my friends, we have the obligation to look at our country with their problems and help as much as we can. Me alaloya voipiste din Elada, voipiste din Sinatropolis, pragmatica i tofera. I parkun pola organizacion saksiopista, opos ini to hamori no tu pediu, opos ini ti votos tu kosmu, organizacion to kiriu mesiti to pion κάνει αυτή τη δουλειά και προσπαθεί να βοηθήσει οι καντέρφια μας στην Ελλάδα. Εμείς οι κεφαλονίτες προμηνώς οργανώσαμε μία κίνηση παρακαλώ, παρακαλώ, παρακαλώ. Μία κίνηση για να βοηθήσουμε τους άπολους της κεφαλονιάς. Μέσω της Μητρόπολης με τον πρωτοσύγκελο Γεράσιμο Φωκά προσπαθούμε να βοηθήσουμε όσο μπορούμε, διότι η Ελλάδα μας πραγματικά βρίσκεται σε άσχημη κατάσταση. Η ανασφάλεια, η ανέχεια και η κατάθλιψη έχει φωλιάσει σε κάθε ελληνικό σπίτι. Με άλλα λόγια, η Ελλάδα μας γουλιάζει, η ενεργία καλπάζει και συνεχώς χειροτερεύει αλλά και πολλά αδέρφη μας περνούν ημέρες γερμανικής κατοχής. Το μόνο που της απομένει είναι η ελπίδα. Η ελπίδα από τα εύκολα αδέρφια μας, δηλαδή και εμάς, να δώσουν χείρα βοηθείες να ξεπεράσουν τις δύσκολες ημέρες που περνούν, αλλά και τις χειρότερες που έρχονται. Γνωρίζω ότι πολλοί φταίνε και κυρίως το διεφθαρμένο πολιτικό κράτος της πατρίδας μας. Που επί μία τριακονταετία δημιούργησε ένα αλλοπρόσαλλο σύστημα και έμαθε το μέσο Έλληνα να απαιτεί και να επαιτεί από αυτό για μια καλύτερη υπερκαταναλωτική ζωή και με λιγότερη εργασία. Λάμπη έγιναν πολλά, αλλά ο φτωχός, ο ανίδεος, ο τίμιος Έλληνας που παρεσύρθηκε δεν πρέπει να τιμωρηθεί τώρα που οι συντάξεις μειώθηκαν και οι φόροι αυξήθηκαν. Όπως λέει και ο συνάδελφος Σπύρος Μεζίτης, είναι λυπηρό να βλέπεις τον συνάνθρωπό σου να τρώει από μινάρια φαγητού, να βλέπεις τα παιδιά να λιποθυμούν από ασυτεία στο σχολείο και οι μανάδες να στέλνουν τα μωρά τους σε ορφανατροφείο για καλύτερη περίπτωση. Η πατρίδα μας έχει φτάσει πολλές φορές ξεπεράσει το όριό της. Δυστυχώς τα πράγματα είναι άσχημα, αλλά πάντα υπάρχει ελπίδα. Διότι ο Έλληνας μόνο ξεσηκώνεται και αποδίδει όταν φτάσει στο τελευταίο σκαλοπάτι. Γι' αυτό υπάρχει ελπίδα τώρα πραγματικά που φτάσαμε σε αυτό το σημείο. Και συμπληθούμε τον εθνικό μας ποιητή Κώστα Παλαμά στο δεκάδεκο του γύπτου που λέει για την Ελλάδα και μην έχοντας πιο κάταλο σκαλί να κατρακυλήσεις του κακού τη σκάλα για τα ακούσεις ξανά να σου μιλεί να ξανατρώσει ο καρά τα φτερά σου, τα φτερά σου, τα μεγάλα. Υπάρχει λοιπόν ελπίδα, αγαπητοί μου φίλοι, αλλά θέλω όλοι σας μηδενός εξαιρουμένου Εάν δεν θέλετε να συμπληθείτε με αυτούς τους οργανισμούς, επικοινωνήσατε με τους πολιανούς σας, με τους γνωστούς, με τους φίλους σας, 
και όποιος χρειάζεται βοήθεια να δώσει χωρίς να λυπηθεί και υπάρχει τώρα. Σας εύχομαι η αγάπη, η χαρά, η υγεία και η ευτυχία να είναι πάντοτε συντροφό σα. Γεια σας. Okay, uh, at this point in time, we're going to call forward Anastasios Manessis, past president of the Pan Gregorian Enterprises in Metro New York, past president of the Federation of Hellenic American Societies of Metro New York, and he's a community leader. We ask that, uh, that George, please come forward, and Bullis um, Dimitri Kafisas, president of the Pan Gregorian Metro New York, please come forward. Um, is there anybody from the uh, uh, Nikos Parties? Please come forward to assist us in presenting Mr. Manessis this wonderful award. We also have the Pan Gregorians from Upper New York, ISU, please come forward as well. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost done, just to let you know. Before you know it, uh, the band will be playing again. And uh, we'll be playing, uh, uh, Piro Stimas will be dancing the uh, Ibiortica again uh, with all of us. So uh, we're very short to the end. But let's give a round of applause to Anastasios Manessis. The Black Rains as follows. Presented by Anastasios Manessis, past president of the Pan Gregorian Enterprises in Metro New York, past president of the Hellenic American Societies of Metro New York, a community leader for promoting unity among the members of the organization and his devotion to the Hellenic spirit and the homogeneity. His best friend, Congresswoman Maloney, presents this certificate of special congressional recognition to Anastasios Manesis. Chris Kambur. And the citation from the National County Office of Controller, George Marangos. I would like Mr. Tsangarakis to make this. και από την Πολιτιστική Ομοσπονδία και το Φεντερέσιον uh, των Ιωνίων Νήσων, ο Νίκος ο Παρδής και ο Βασίλης ο Ματαράγκας, το Citation from the Atlantic County. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the recognition of all the leaders and all the honorees tonight that they have been accept, widely accepted, not only by the Greek American community, but also of our American society that we are an integral part of. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Petrosios. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm grateful for this honor. I have been attending the Hermes Expo for at least 20 years. And I'm also honored that I have been honored, one of the many honorees, one of them was Piros Dimas. And I do not know whether you know what happened today in London. The Olympics this year are going to be held in London, England. And the Olympic Committee in London name a tunnel in honor of Demos, and we're greatly honored for that. So, the tunnel in London will be known as Piros Demos Tunnel. Thank you, Paul.
think we're at the last award. So I think we should clap for that. Uh, this next group and this next person is very special to me. And it's the American Hellenic Education Progressive Association. They are being represented tonight by the district governor of the 5th district. And at this point in time, I ask that we give a round of applause for a wonderful gentleman, a friend of Hellenism, all throughout, not only here, but throughout the country. Sabas Tsihigos. Please come forward, Sabas. And Paul, if I may, I want to ask that all the heavens please come forward, including his district lodge, the members that are here, including Lee Millis, who is also here from the HEPA Board of Trustees nationally. Please come to the stage. All the heavens. Christian Madukas, Phil Voges, Ted Venus, please come forward. Ilya, you're in heaven. Come on. And let's give a round of applause for Sava Stevens for an amazing job that he's done. I can't wait to come on. And for what he represents. I kept your black eye, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sava, also, um, before we. Uh, I, I, you know, we're going to give you the plaque for Sava. Um, Gentlemen, come forward, don't worry about it. If anybody trips, don't worry, I'll sue this place. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, Saba, I want to uh, yield the mic uh, over at this point in time to uh, Brother uh, Lee Millis, uh, the National Board of Trustees of AHEPA, who is here this night to assist in this presentation. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, Paul. I think on behalf of the uh, Order of Ahepa, and thank you very much for being such a good friend of the Order of Ahepa. We really appreciate your support, and you are a good friend of the Order of Ahepa. This is presented to Samus Sivikos as District Governor of District No. 5 for outstanding contributions and professional performance in the spirit of Hellenic ideals. This Hermes Award presented on this day in celebration of our annual Expo Dinner. Congratulations, Brother Sidney. Thank you, Brother Lee, Brother uh, Paul. Thank you very much. I received this award on behalf of the HEPA family. And uh, besides uh, the people that are up here, I will ask all the Ahebans in the room to please rise. Come on! This award belongs to all of you, belongs to all of us. I have the privilege of representing Aheba, the oldest and largest Greek American organization in the country, founded in 1922. And since then, we have come a long way. Our community has come a long way. We are very proud from where we came from and where we are today. We have been persecuted, we have been harassed, we have been, uh, uh, we have been pushed out of the way many times. But because of our great perseverance, to El Nico Yinati, we managed to excel. And many communities, many communities today are very proud of our accomplishments. We have presidential candidates, we have congressmen, we have senators, we have people in this room that are running for Congress, we have presidents of universities, but we do have people that speak too much and they don't know how to listen. That's unfortunately our characteristic. We take everything for granted. But we must continue the fight, especially at a time where Greece and Cyprus are going through difficult times. And uh, we, Greek Americans, have a role to play. AHEPA has started a campaign 
to help our fellow brothers in Greece. And we are very proud to announce that we have, uh, we have raised large amounts of money already. And I will agree with Bill Zimas. Just, just like he lifted the weights, and he, uh, he was very proud to say at the Melada, at the end of the day, Melada will come out of this bad situation, and I hope we learn from our mistakes. With those uh, few words, and again, thanking uh, Hermes Expo, and the Stilovakis, the quarterback of this effort, Paul Kodrochos, thank you very much. Thank you all. Christian uh, Manukos to present uh, the certificate of congressional recognition. Thank, thank you, Brother George. Um, this is from Carolyn B. Maloney, who is with the Hellenic Caucus, if I'm not mistaken. And Saba Tsimikos has been very instrumental in uh, having a HEPA get very much involved in political affairs, and he mentioned that in his speech. Uh, certificate of special congressional recognition, Act of Congress. Sanas Tsivikos in recognition of an invaluable contribution to the Hellenic and American community, Carolyn B. Maloney. Congratulations. And all the brother happens tonight, uh, I was told that uh, they took a vote, a secret vote, and uh, they asked that one of the honorees next year would be uh, Senator Menendez because of the fact of all the good deeds that he has done for Hellenism, not only for the Greek American community, but for Hellenism over, uh, I don't know, so many, 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 many years. We also have Phil Voges. You know, when you're on the stage with Phil, if you don't know him, he always invariably gets to the microphone. <laughs> and past district governor Phil Voges to present his citation. Thank you, Brother George. Uh, it gives me a great pleasure to uh, present to uh, Brother Sabatikos from the Nassau County Office of the Controller a citation for his great accomplishments in the area of civic responsibility. Congratulations, Sabi. And now, and now this, is, this is an example of the synergy uh, that is uh, something that is professed by, by Paul, his family, and the Ernie's Expo, working with Ahi as he has all weekend with Mr. Laragakis. Uh, and, and the wonderful presentations that were made, working with the HEPA and all the gentlemen, the fine men and the women who were not on the stage, but that's okay. We know that they're sitting down at the chairs. Um, and at this point in time, Brother Sama has uh, a presentation. The second year in a row, what they're doing at, at HEPA, I've been told, is a, uh, a business initiative network and uh, Sam, I turn the microphone back over to you as the Naheba has selected uh, a very deserving individual for this business initiative award. Well, one of the privileges we have as government is you get to pick an honorary for the business network at the Hermes Award. And it was a distinct uh, honor for me and I didn't have to think too much uh, to select an individual that really exemplifies. Thank you. I don't want to use my Cypriot expressions in one language. Please be quiet. So, it is my pleasure and it is my honor on behalf of the American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association, the Aheba family, uh, to introduce to you a very special individual. An individual that exemplifies hard work, success, accomplishment, community service, family man, and so many other characteristics. This individual happens to be someone that I have known for many years. Someone that has started, like most of us, from the very bottom and has managed to come very far. His name is Nick Sabatsaris. He is an accomplished professional, an architect, an engineer, a real estate developer. And I will ask Nick at this time to please come up, accompanied by his beautiful wife, uh, Stacy.
Nick uh, graduated from uh, the Polytechnic uh, Institute. Oh, Isa. Uh, I, st I still want to see Stacy because uh, Nick would have been where he is today without Stacy. And it's, it's, uh, it's always uh, the story. Uh, as I said, Nick received his, uh, his uh, BA from the Polytechnic Institute of Worcester and he went on to receive two more masters a structural engineer from the same university and another master from one of the most, if not the most prestigious universities in the country, the MIT. Upon graduation, he started his own business, Sabatsaris Associate, Associate, and he has designed and supervised many public and private uh, projects, some very notable ones, some uh, very large ones, and he is very proud of each and every one of them. He uh, is affiliated with many organizations in the country. He serves on many boards, and he is a, mem a member also of many organizations, uh, American and Greek Americans as well. But he never forgot his roots. He never forgot the education he received from his parents. To always be faithful to his culture, to his faith, and to his community. And uh, time and time again, he has donated his services for free, my friends, uh, to, our, to our beloved metropolis and to his uh, home parish in Wycombe, New Jersey, because he believes that we, that we have been blessed to succeed in life, we have an obligation to give back to our community. And Nick does just that. Nick uh, is accompanied today by his beautiful wife, Stacy, who uh, went through hooks to make sure she had a babysitter for the three daughters, but also Mr. and Mrs. Leonida Zapatzales, the proud parents of Nick are here, as well as his uncle, uncle Steve and Amalia Zapatzales. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm, loud round of applause for someone as yourself that's a role model for our youngsters here today. Nick Sabatzaris. Check. 
and uh, my friend uh, Nick Larigakis from the President of the American Humanity Institute will, will close tonight's uh, event. Thank you. Without further ado, brief introduction, Dr. Elias Zimbiadis, President of the Philadelphia Hellenic Medical Society. Dr. Elias, please come forward. I had the same as my doc, so you don't have to check me out. Distinguished honorees, Mr. Trotios, Mr. Moriales, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Elias Zimbiadis, President of the Hellenic Medical Society. Today, we put on a health community symposium, which was well received by the entire uh, patrons of the Hermes Expo. We were so proud and so happy to put it on for the benefit of our great community. I'd like to acknowledge uh, our speakers today and then finally give a small presentation to our distinguished team. So, this, uh, the first speaker will be uh, Dr. Mike Masutas, behind me. The second speaker in attendance is Dr. Alexia, oh, sorry, yeah, Dr. Alexia Sikoras, from the Here's Alexia. Please come forward. Last speaker uh, was uh, Dr. Chris Zarnas, a professor of surgery from Temple University Hospital, discussing uh, plastic surgery. So, Dr. Zarnas, thank you. and I have a unique honor where we select a member of our society, you know, the Hellenic medical community, who's made an exemplary contribution to not only medicine, but to our profession. And uh, this year's honoree is Dr. Eli Kelly Boros. So I ask Dr. Kelly Boros to come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here once again this year. 
It goes without saying, I've said it a number of times today, but it's worth repeating, that we need to thank, of course, Paul Gutierrez for his vision of creating a Hermes Expo International over 21, 21 years ago, of bringing people together from all walks of life, from within the Greek American community, and reaching out across the Philippines and others in the mainstream community of the United States to, to bring them together, interact on business. In this way, helping to expand the Greek American community and the business component of that community, not only here in the United States, but of course across the Atlantic, between Greece and the United States. And Paul, once again, I congratulate you, your colleagues, your family, and all of those. And it's been a pleasure being at the American Atlantic Institute to be associated with you all these years. on this thought here. Right now, and for the last really two years, what has sucked up the air out of all our discussions, including our discussions here, and I think this table over here to the right has been having this discussion all night because I've been hearing them all night in the corner, has been the crisis in Greece. But at every crisis, there's an opportunity. And I submit to you that all of right now Greece is going through one of its darkest hours, by no means is it its darkest hour. No one is going to tell me that what this great country has gone through for 2,500 years of its history is anything more than what's going on here today. This pales in what they've had to endure for over 2,500 years. 400 years of Ottoman Turkish occupation, a, 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 a bitter occupation by both the Italians and the Germans, invasion after invasion by the Persians, Venetians, and so many others, and yet it has stood stall. But what has been the defining factor throughout Greece's history in all these crises? And really, if you look at the countries of the world, in their crisis, there's always been somebody that has risen to the occasion. It's been Alexander the Great. It's Solon. It's Leonidas of the 300 Spartans. It's Themistocles. It's Venizelos. It's Ioannis Metaxas. And so many more. Interesting how we get closer to modern Greek history. The names, unfortunately, seem to diminish a little bit. It's Piros Vimas, who put Greece on the map as an Olympic gold medal winner. I don't remember anyone before Piros Vimas, unless you go back to Spiros Lewis. And since Piros, the Greek Olympic team has risen to the occasion. And I may add, it gave also the impetus for 2004 for us to host one of the most successful, if not the most successful, Olympiad ever in the world, and also in that same year to win a European championship in soccer and to beat the host country Portugal twice. So, the opportunities are there. Greece will survive. It will overcome and it will be much better for it, and it will be a better Greece. Someone needs to come and rise to the occasion. I submit to you, who those people are is going to be more than one. It will be the Greek nation. It's going to be the Greek people who will rise to that occasion and make and continue to make Greece in, in its glory and move it into the next century and beyond. But Greece is not alone. All like about its history, and for the most of its history, it has to endure, and it had to endure alone. Oh yeah, there's been the Philippines, and they've been critically important to that cause. But Greece today is not alone, because there are approximately 7 million Greeks around the world, whoever they think of nothing else, in terms of how... But uh, we're going to close right there with uh, Mr. Larry This is wonderful and we're going to call them up. Ladies and gentlemen, get the Bruno Namaste Gala. You may not have won Mega Millions, but you got to be here at the Hermes Expo with Paul, with Miros, with Nick, and with all these wonderful people. Congratulations to all of you.